Hey, hi there, Virgo. Welcome to my weekly predictive reading for March 2020. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. This is a general reading. Okay, Virgo. Off camera to save time, I've performed a protective blessing. I meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. And we will be using a card from the Oracle deck. Ask your guides by Sonia Choquette. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the basis of the matter. This is the situation at hand. The Page of Pentacles, Virgo. Earth Energy. Taurus, you, Virgo. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Now, this person, as you can see, they're focused. They're full of interest. They're introspective, and they're fascinated. This can be a communication or an offer, could be of stability, it's tangible. His attitude suggests he desires money. He's goal-oriented. You might hear him say, it takes time, but it's worth the wait. Pentacles are always a slower energy. This could be good news regarding your worldly ambitions, message about them. This can even be a student. They have respect for learning. They move slowly, they're absorbed, they're focused. They're practical and cautious. This can be a new job or a project or a new investment or new studies. This is a person that would be willing to work hard to gain new knowledge and skills. They're a loyal friend and they give good advice. And yet they seem solemn and scholarly. It's just that they're willing to work hard to learn about what interests them so very much. They're still learning the ropes. Could be turning over a new leaf to loftier goals. This can be the beginning of something new and underdeveloped. They can also be a children or a younger person. This is a good card to start a new business, an opportunity to make money, starting at the bottom with plenty of promise for future growth. This is a trigger point at being productive. It's finding something. This is someone that wants to know the nature of things and how they work. This can be an unexpected new start. It's taking that unmanifested Ace of Pentacles and learning to use it. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. This is your subconscious influence. The Ten of Pentacles, Virgo. More Earth energy. Stability. A solid foundation. A solid family life. It's home and family, legacy, your ancestors. It could be an inheritance. It's monetary gain and increased stability. It's enjoying the fruits of labor. This can be a house or a dwelling. It can represent security and material comfort, wealth and social standing and permanence, physical security, the establishment and conventional thinking. There's a completion with stability. It could be a successful financial venture, like an inheritance or settlement that will provide for all those concerned could also be a very special partnership. It's also a card of traditions, a holiday celebration. This is can represent, if you need to know about how things should be done, well, you think back to the way your elders would have solved the problem. Maybe thinking back to someone that's wise beyond their years. This is long-term stability, can represent passive income, investments. Page of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles is focusing on career and financial stability, its ambition and desire for a solid and secure life. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. The Eight of Pentacles, Virgo, more Earth energy. This is a card of working on your stability, takes dedication, passion and drive for what it's you're working on. This is a symbol for striving for self-perfection. This is also Sun and Virgo card, you guys. This is your card. It's This is a, can be the beginning of a profitable undertaking, employment or commission to come. It's skill in material affairs and handiwork in the arts. Sometimes remaining in the apprenticeship stage can represent employment to come. It's using your skill and mastery and doing a good job and avoiding mistakes. You're being meticulous, 
steadfast, industrious, disciplined and skillful, methodical, proud of your work and precise. It's being detail-oriented. You could be perfecting a skill or taking classes or doing homework or attending to detail and craftsmanship. It is doing something repetitively, improving yourself, repairing. You're steadily working and you're getting close to your goal and you're absorbed and it does need your concentration. Page of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles is ambition and dedication, its desire and high standards. Your fourth card. It's the card of the future. It's the outcome, the resolution. Seven of Pentacles, Virgo. Earth energy, card of waiting. It's looking back and seeing what you've accomplished. It's being impatient for results. It's the pause during the development, taking a break, having to be patient. You're assessing things. That harvest is still yet to come and you're reevaluating. You're aiming for the long-term growth and not the instant rewards, and your investments are going to pay off in the future. And this is a timeout card. Still waiting for that success. You're looking back and rethinking about whether you're on the right path. Some readjustment may be needed, but you're not failing. You are learning, and you're questioning your standpoint and looking from a different perspective. It could be a difficult decision between security and risk. But it warns not to stop for long because all those past efforts will only come to fruition through consistent effort. You're wondering if this will work and what will you get out of it and you're planning your next move. Valuing your investments. Going through your budget. Could be something that's out of your control right now. Page of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles is a vision that will pay off in the future. Fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen is because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. The Six of Wands, Virgo. Fire energy. You know you're going to succeed. Your efforts are going to be rewarded. You're going to have victory and your triumph over adversity. It's good news and success. It's promotion. It's having met all the challenges to your position and work or your reputation and you come out with flying colors. Victory is at hand and you overcome the opposition. If you had any self-doubt, it's going to be resolved and you'll be in the process of winning big battles and you can expect to succeed and have your desires gratified. Even gifts may be received. It's victory and success after strife. It's praise and recognition and promotions and progress. It could be a cash prize or a reward as a result of your hard work and efforts. And you deserve it. It's okay to take pride in your ability to lead and inspire others. You've worked hard and you are receiving recognition. Just try to receive the acclaim and admiration graciously. Be proud, but be aware, be aware of conceit. Remember to give gratitude to all those that supported you to get there, because others do look to you for guidance, so responsible and ethical action is required. Page of Pentacles with the Six of Wands is you receiving public reward for your attention to dedication and diligence. The Ten of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles is working in the family business. Ten of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles is increases in finances you've waited for. It's pro probably been a long time coming. Ten of Pentacles with the Six of Wands is material wealth and being highly successful. The Eight of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles is impatience for those results that are slow to come. It's concentrating on your efforts. Eight of Pentacles with the Six of Wands is passion and success. It's dedication with rewards and recognition. Seven of Pentacles with the Six of Wands is hard work and patience. Bring success and honors. Really good reading, Virgo. Here's your advice from the Oracle deck. Ask your guides by Sonia Choquette. Card number 47. Psychic Awareness from your Divine Soul, Virgo. Psychic Awareness. 
clairsentience, clairvoyance, reception, and telepathy. Your divine soul is awakening, and with it your psychic abilities are coming alive. More evolved and specific than basic intuition, your psychic facilities are giving you access to the fourth dimension and are coming into contact with discarnate, enlightened helpers who can assist and guide you in beautiful ways. You may start accessing the divine music or tap into new healing energies. You may also receive telepathic messages and have clairvoyant visions. Heed to your newly aroused psychic facilities and don't doubt the specific and profound transmissions flowing to you. Record your dreams, believe in your hunches, and accept the symbols and, and the signals that are being relayed to you from the psychic realm. Trust your vibes and embrace your psychic channels fully. What they're communicating is essential to fulfilling your purpose. Ask your divine soul to lead you. Its message, embrace and trust what you receive. Thanks, you guys, Virgo. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up. And please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.